figurative chimneys of lazy mothers all over the world. Hatred was an isometric shoot 'em up video game developed and published by Destructive Creations about a terrorist who hates the world so much he commits gay men on everyone around him. But unlike games that forwarded the idea of any press as good press, like GTA, Mortal Kombat, Doom, Postal, Wolfenstein, etc., it was panned by critics and nobody played it. Why? Simple. It was boring. Like, extremely boring. Here's a good example of what I mean. When you think of any 18 plus game that tries to be controversial, they always have like these memorable weapons. The BFG 9000 in Doom, the Dildo in San Andreas, the Penetrator in Saints Row. Guess what Hatred has? A basic Glock and a couple of machine guns. This really sucks. Because it's such an easy fix. But this idea of genericness, genericness lingers around the entire game. The takedowns, for example, are just fine. Like, I guess. They absolutely suck when compared to Manhunt or God of War. And remember, Manhunt was made in 2003, 12 years before Hatred. The background never changes and the main character sucks. He's edgy. He looks and sounds what a 15 year old emo kid thinks cool means. And he talks way too much. And it may even be worse than Days Gone. And from what I found, there's no soundtrack which sucks. So, let's fix this. The main character can only be described as pathetic, and pretentious, and unlikable, and moody. He talks too much, and he talks a whole lot of nothing. Firstly, he needs to talk less. You don't need to spout literature during an execution. If you want him to be strong in this way, he needs some sort of forward-based way of conveying to the audience. Maybe he's writing a book and decorating it with pictures of the dead, or maybe he's talking to, or maybe he's talking to his thoughts like in Disco Elysium. I think his deliberately would be his deliberately would be a whole lot better if it was like the main character in Sally Face. Done that take like four times. I'm not doing it again. No matter what happens, when he's well, no matter what happens, he speaks in a neutral tone. Neutral, not gruff. He doesn't show emotion. He just gets stuff done. Like Sally Face. Yes. Because no matter what happened in Sally Face, she kept, I mean, he kept this specific mood. So the point was always creepy. In terms of guns, it's possible to retain the element of seriousness and realism while having interesting weapons. So, how about an XL-18 flamethrower, or a AA-12 fully automatic shotgun? Or hell, how about some varied knives I've never seen that in a game, like a Paragon Warlock, or a Microtech, or a Microtech Ultratech? And that brings me nicely onto the takedowns. They need to be more elaborate, they need to be more gory, and there needs to be lots of them, and they need one specific to each weapon. For playability, the murders have to be more satisfying to the eye. Oh god, I sound like a lunatic. And levels need to mix stuff up. Think Hotline Miami. Yes, you're still running around shooting things, but each level feels different and interesting. Oh, and we need a metal soundtrack. And to make it really stand out, maybe black metal instead of normal metal. Maybe the screen could get dark and his thoughts could become more depressing the closer you are to death. Or if you haven't killed a body in a while. You know, like in Disco Elysium. And the longer a stage is, the less rough weapons are around, so you have to use more of your fists and takedowns, and you have to become more desperate. It also needs pumped up kicks to come up in the soundtrack at some point. Oh, and maybe the beautiful Peach Pool by Marilyn Manson. That'll be sick. Well, that's it for today. It is the f Remember, it is my first time doing something like this, so please don't be mean, and I'll see you for my next video in two weeks. Oh yeah, I haven't thought of an outro yet.